In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create paper cut background in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be using these colors for this background. You can check Adobe colors to choose different color palettes. To draw the shapes, you can use the pen tool, but for this tutorial, I'll be using the pencil tool. If you're using a mouse, then use the pen tool. But since I'm using a Wacom tablet, so it will be a lot easier and faster if I use the pencil tool. Double click on the pencil tool and make sure it's all the up to this mode. Let's first select the rectangle tool and fill the artboard. Select the eyedropper tool, the keyboard shortcut is I and pick the blue color. Now with the pencil tool, I'll draw the shapes. And then pick the next color with the eyedropper tool. I'll draw several layers of these shapes and pick those colors one by one. Okay, once you are done creating all the shapes, then we can add shadows. Go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. These values will change according to your design, so try different values and see what suits best for your design. Hit OK once you are done. Now select the next shape and apply the last effect. You can also select all the other shapes and apply the drop shadow. Next I want to add some grain or noise. Select the rectangle. You can also select it from the layers panel. Copy and paste it and bring it at the top. Change the blue color to 50% gray. Now go to effect, texture, grain. These default values will do. Now go to transparency panel. You can find it in window transparency. I place it here so that I can easily find it. Anyway, change the blend mode to overlay. It will hide the gray but only shows the noise. If you think the noise is too much, then you can reduce the opacity. Now we need to remove these extra areas. Copy the rectangle one more time and place it above all the layers. Select everything and go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. It will hide everything except the rectangle areas. Now if you want, you can change the amount of shadows. Just go to Appearance Panel. You can find it in Window Appearance. Here you can find the effect and you can change it if you want. Here is another example. I did the same thing here, just instead of adding drop shadow, I added inner glow. I changed the blend mode to multiply and added a darker color. So this is how we can create paper cut background in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thank you so much for watching.